The mystics teach us that men are like letters, women are the vowels, and children are the cantillation marks, the tune. And that's exactly how we interact. See, kids listen to the tune of your existence. You can tell them everything's okay, but if it's not, they know. They, they're totally in the white fire. So the mystics call that's the real Torah. The original Torah is the white fire, but we couldn't see it, so God burned the black fire onto the white fire. But the kids are living in the white fire space, they're between the lines. So if you want to really connect with a child, you have to know two things. That's where I engage with you in the white fire, and part of my job is to teach you about the black fire, to teach you to embrace and use the black fire. So people who say, oh, we should be out of the box with our kids, that's true to an extent with education, but we also want to teach them about where the box is and be, you know, be inside it as well. Um, really outstanding academics know about both those places. Then we say there's men are like the letters. You actually can't enunciate a letter without a vowel. Um, it's impossible to say, even, a, you know, like g. You couldn't say that if you d. You can't do that. So you need the vowels that give voice to the letters, but you have nothing without, you can't say anything without the consonants. And the consonants are much more brief. The letters really open, the vowels open them up. That's why in the Bible, women are constantly associated with voice. So God says to Abraham, listen to Sarah's voice. What that means in, in our marriage is that we have to know we have very different communication styles. So when a wife says to her husband, how was your day? And he says, fine, that's the consonant. He did it, he's done, he said it. And, you know, he doesn't want to ask her how her day was because she's the vowels and she's going to tell him from 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. when he came home. It was like, okay, let's get over it and, you know, get on with life. But it shows up in many other ways. So when you have these Kabbalistic frameworks, then you can understand how, what makes you tick, how you work from the inside out which gives you access to change because knowledge really frees us. You can't, we're living like blind people in a world trying very, very hard and we, we just don't know how to heal because we don't have the accurate map.